Hello, my beautiful sweets. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day, afternoon, evening, whatever time you're watching this video. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you show my channel. As all per usual, I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. It's mostly foods and um, yeah, it's mostly food. My Dollar Tree finally put out some products. If you saw the thumbnail, we actually got something new. <gasps> Clutch the pearls. <laughs> I can't believe it. But without further ado, I have church in the morning, so let's jump right into this haul. Okay, my beautiful sweets. I'm going to start over here with some non-food stuff because if I don't, I'll forget it because it's not here. So my Dollar Tree had some pillow covers. We've had these before. These are repurchase. I couldn't decide which color I wanted. I think they had black, gray, and brown. So after the holidays, uh, I couldn't I couldn't decide. So I ended up with just brown. You know, I'm not sure if it's gonna go with my purple sofa or not, but for the time being, it is a home collection, right? Yeah, home collection, and it's pillow covers with the zipper. So you can see where it says with the zipper zipper closure they're really um not that big but they're not that small they're kind of nice i've had these before and i don't know what i did with them y'all know we change stuff out so much you can't you can't really keep up so this is what it's looking like it's a nice size um pillow cover and they're like the satiny kind and there's the zipper so you can just put your pillow in there or you can just stuff it so I did get two of the brown ones for right now. I'm not really sure if I should have gotten black. I was on the on the undecisive about black or brown because I have a purple sofa. So anyway, if I have to take this back and exchange it, I will because I do that all the time. Okay, moving right along. I still have my Valentine kissing booth sign up on my um, curio cabinet because it just eluded me. I don't know how I did it. But I have shown this sign so many times in my um, past walkthroughs. And I looked at it and I said, ooh, I want that one to go up on my curio cabinet. It's the shorter one. It's not as long. I'm kind of gnomed out. I didn't want the gnome again. So, yeah, I picked this one. And I just love the brown background. And it's the shorter one. So it's not those real long ones. And this is the one that I wanted. It's kind of got like a 3D carrot on it. And it just says Happy Easter with all the um, beautiful colors and the butterflies and the grass. And I just love this. I just thought it was so beautiful. And all the times that I showed it in my walkthroughs, I forgot to pick it up. So I saw it and I finally got it. And it's just the East, in the Easter decor you know, section. Forgive my nails. I haven't polished them yet. So the red polish that I had on before really stained my nails. So I've been like going over and over and over again with the fingernail polish remover, trying to get the staining off. But anywho, I digress. Let's move right along. They restocked these um, Tums Assorted Berry Ultra Strength 1000. You get 12 chewable um, tablets. And I could have used these last night because I had Ajita so bad. I think I had gotten over hungry and ate too fast. And it kind of got just stuck right there, <laughs> you know. They have an expiration date of, let's see, or maybe that's just the lot number. No, um, June 2027. So there's the little Tums for $1.25. Can't go wrong. So I grabbed those. And in the last haul I showed you guys, I found the Chapstick Total Hydration Natural Lip Scrub. And I thought I had picked up two, one for me and one for my sister, but I could only find one. So I gave her the first one and then I just went back and got another one. I can't wait to use this because with this bipolar weather, 80 degrees one day, 30 degrees the next day, my lips don't know whether they're chapped or moist. Yeah. Y'all know, it's just crazy. Mother Nature needs to take her meds, okay? So, <laughs> I think this is going to be good. I have so many lip scrubs from my Ipsy bags, from my Walmart boxes, from the Dollar Tree. But 
it looked really nice and it's a name brand and it says fresh peppermint conditioning lip scrub so i'll show you one more time and then we'll move on so i got that and i've been seeing this um for some time now and i just kind of overlooked it but this is a sassy and chic manicure set five piece and the only reason why i got this was for the cuticle pusher and the little fingernail clippers if you've ever been out and you got a hangnail or you chipped a nail and you wanted to file it down or cut it so you didn't have to lose the whole nail you didn't have your stuff on you because it was at home so i thought this was so cute it has everything in there that you need it's the little sassy and chic manicure i think it says um yeah manicure set so it looks like this it says it has um a matchbox file, nail brush, nail clipper, cuticle pusher, and PVC pouch. So I got it for the nail polish, the cute, even though I have nail polish on me, I never have these little fingernail clippers on me. So, and then it had the little cuticle pusher up in there. I thought it was just perfect. It's already in the pouch. Perfect to throw in my bag because, yeah, I have a little makeup bag in my pocketbook, but... I never have the right tools that I need when I need them. So I think that um, the rest of this stuff is food except this one item. This finally, 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 it's happened to me right in front. No, <laughs> okay. <laughs> they didn't even have this out. They had it on a U-boat and it hadn't even been open. And the plastic was hard as I don't know what. But I took my car keys and I just cut that plastic and I grabbed one. This says new in advance, and I have been seeing this on other people's hauls for eons, and it's never made it to my store. But quick story, you guys. I spoke to the manager of my large Dollar Tree yesterday. Tina is always busy, and you never really get to see her. I always talk to Jackie and Paul and the rest of them. But Tina was working yesterday. Jackie and Paul were off. So I went down the aisle and I just decided to strike up a conversation with her. And I told her how much money I used to drop in this store. And you guys don't have anything anymore. You, your food shelf is empty. You don't have any of the new items. You know, she gave me the normal schmeal about the warehouse, having her stuff for her store, you know, thrown around in the warehouse. And if they get something, they only get like one case, you know, the normal schmeal. The next day, today, I walk into the Dollar Tree and I could not believe my eyes. Everything I found today was in the Dollar Tree in my local large Dollar Tree. And I was really shook. So anyway, moving right along, I found these, um, 160 pre-soaked wipes and I know I didn't really need these because my sister has a whole jug of something like this in the back of my car but I got it anyway because it was new it says tough plus non-abrasive all-purpose cleaning wipes how long have we been seeing this you guys how long and it finally made and I mean they had a whole u-boat full of it so I was happy to see it especially anything that says new we know it's not new. It's just been sitting back there in that warehouse and they don't put the stuff out. I don't understand that. How are you supposed to make money? When I told her I used to drop between $100 every two days in this place, she, somebody put this stuff out on the shelf. Okay, so moving right along, I think we're just going to, yeah, no choice. I think it's all food. We're just going to jump right into the food items that I found. Okay. This is just a repurchase. They had this thing loaded. I mean, fully loaded, both the bears and the worms. So I just got one pack of the Albanese um, World's Best 12 flavored gummy bears because I absolutely love these gummy bears. I've told you guys before, for any of my new subscribers, they have 12 flavored gummies in here. Um, cherry, strawberry, mango, lemon, pineapple, orange, green, apple, watermelon pink grapefruit lime blue raspberry and grape and their expiration or best buy date is july 3rd 2024 so i did grab another bag of those because i absolutely adore them and every season when these candy bars come out i think somebody said they were made in germany or something i'm not seeing where that says it um but i never oh this is made in pole okay so it says it's a member of the Kruger group, 
something Germany, but it says it's made in Poland. And I've never purchased these little can milk chocolate candy bars. So I finally pulled the trigger and just said, you know what? Even if I don't eat them straight out, because I really don't eat chocolate like that. I like it. It's got to have nougat and caramel and nuts and things like that. But if I don't use it for, you know, candy, I can use it for cooking. But I'm, I'm, can, I'm really like, what do you call it? Uh, I can't think of the word. Y'all know I always go blank when I get on this camera. I'm really, um, I want to try it. Okay, let's just put it like that. I can't think of the word. But yeah, I want to just try one and see what they taste like. They always have these. And these are the ones for Easter. So I did pull the trigger and I said expiration is um, October 31st, 2023 for those. So those are going to stay for a little while. And then I have to repurchase another bag of these because I killed that first bag, y'all. Not at one time. And there was definitely more than nine in there. So that was a nice surprise. But these Snickers, y'all know, Snickers are just so delicious. So, yeah, I got another bag. And again, the best before is November of 2023. So I grabbed those. And I believe this is a repurchase as well. And I tried this once and I did not care for it. But y'all know me. I had to get it. Maybe my sister will like it. I don't know. But this is the fruit flavored chewing gum. This is the Kool-Aid. You have tropical punch, cherry, and grape. It looks like there's four in here. So you get one chop, um, tropical punch, you get two cherries, and you get one grape in here. And they look like this. Kool-Aid. But I believe I tried these the last time they had them, and that gum was not good. They have a Best Buy or yeah, Best Buy date of July 2nd, 2024. And they have those right up at the register. So y'all know how that impulse buying always gets us. You know, so I got that. And moving on, I just dropped that. Um they had the they finally refilled or restocked the chocolate chip. And I love these from the Dollar Tree. You can save so much money buying these. These are the um, Real Simi, the Seiko Pantry, Real Simi Sweet Chocolate Chips. And I love, love, love to bake with these. So I did get one bag. I probably should have gotten more. The best buy date is September 16, 2024. Yeah, so I'll probably pick up another one because they got a nice, pan, um, nice shelf life. But these are always good to have in your pantry. So I grabbed those. Okay, this is another new item to me. And I was looking for like the long grain and the jasmine one. But they hadn't put it out yet. Hopefully, when I go back again, they'll have it out. But this is the Savvy Fair Whole Grain Rice. Um, microwavable in 90 seconds. 8.8 um, .8 ounce package. And the best buy or best before is September 22nd, 2023. My sister will live, um, eat this. She loves brown rice. I tried to get into the brown rice and I was into it for a little while. But then I uh, took a fork full of white rice or jasmine rice. And yeah, that pretty much blew the brown rice out of the water. <laughs> so I went back to eating. When I do eat rice, I went back to eating regular white rice. But this is brown rice, and it's really, really um, convenient, you know, easy cooking instructions. So, I was happy just to see something new, y'all. Y'all got to excuse me, okay? And this is another repurchase. And my girl, Gail, from Gail's Dollar Tree Halls and more, um, Gail Patricia's Halls, I'll put her in the video because I'm getting her name mixed up. She loves this rice and she lives in Canada and when they go her and her husband go across the border to the American Dollar Tree she always picks up a lot of these bags I believe I tried this before and again didn't care for it but I want to try it again because I love Spanish rice so this is the Vigo saffron yellow rice and it is completely seasoned authentic Spanish rice. It's a nine ounce bag. Y'all know I haven't seen this in my Dollar Tree in so long. I grabbed the bag and the best buy date of this one is, I'm hoping that's not it. Oh gosh, that's little. Best buy, um, 
9824. So again, a good pantry item, September 8th, 2024. And it is a nine ounce bag. So I'm going to try this again because like I said, I love Spanish rice. So, and another item that they haven't had in a while. This stuff was, I, I told y'all, I believe that this stuff just be sitting back there in that warehouse because that warehouse be stocked. It be stocked and the shelves are empty. Anywho, I digress. I'm just grateful they put something out. So this is the Morrison's Texas Style Honey Sweet Cornbread. We've all seen this before. This is really good cornbread, you guys. You get a big 16-ounce bag of cornbread, of honey cornbread. You can see that. And even though it says honey sweet cornbread, I still always put like a tablespoon of sugar in there. And y'all know I make my cornbread with sour cream instead of milk. But my sister loves this. She'll fix this up and, you know, hook it up. And the best buy date on here is um, December 2nd, 2023. So you got until December. You got a whole year. Another great pantry item. And then I know they had this before, but... My sister knows how to take this and zhuzh it up and make it taste like mommy's mommy's homemade mac and cheese. So this is the Premier Pantry family size. And I see it's got a little dent in there. I hope it's not open. But this is uh, macaroni and cheese made with real cheese. It's a 14.5 ounce box. And it's definitely a restock item. We've seen this before. So I got it just for, you know. Those emergencies when we don't feel like doing the full Sunday dinner or something like that. This is Best Buy, May 3rd, 2024. So I got some great, great pantry items to, you know, stock up with. And I'm really happy about that. And let me see. Then I'm not really like a big crouton person, but I do like croutons. And every now and then I'll you know, put them on my salads or whatever, but this was a 20% more free, um, new fields, eat fresh garlic, garlic y'all. Anything says garlic, I'm there. It is a six ounce package of garlic croutons. So yeah, mm -hmm. we used to have croutons in our store all the time. I don't know what happened. If you ever watch Erica, um, Fuller's channel, She's got the haves and the have-nots. She's got me walking in and out of the Dollar Trees going, the haves and the have-nots. <laughs> because some stores are haves and our stores are have-nots, okay? But she cracks me up when she says that in her video, okay? But we got this. I haven't seen croutons in the store in eons. I'm not going to even get into it anymore. Okay. And they only had one bottle of the Gourmet Empire Extra Virgin Olive Oil. This is the traditional aging taste. I love this olive oil, you know. I mean, for $1.25, a lot of people don't think it's a good deal. But I personally think it's a fabulous deal. And I fill up my olive oil bottle in my kitchen. And one of these will fill it up almost completely. So it is a 5.91 fluid ounce. And I picked that up because I just noticed that I had filled it up and it went empty again. <laughs> so when I saw that, I really did bend down and really look to see if there were any more because I would have gotten more. But it was just this one. I don't know if it has an expiration date on it. I looked in the store and I, oh yes, it does. It has a best before June 27th, 2024. So it's really, really tiny. It's one of those. So you can see that. So yeah, another great pantry item. And then I got the Valetti's Buffalo Wild, um, Buffalo Wing Sauce in mild because yes, I love wing sauce and Valetti's um, sauces and dressings. I've had no problems with. I absolutely adore them. The pizza sauce, the taco sauce, the salad dressings. Only thing I did not like in the Valetti's brand was the um, spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti sauce to me was just too watery. That's just my personal opinion, okay? So this doesn't expire in, or, yeah, it says expire 
August 9th of 2023, you get a nice big 16 fluid ounce. And that's the one thing I really like about the Valetti's. You get a full size product. So I've never heard of Valetti's in my life until it came to the Dollar Tree, but I'm with it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, my sweets, I got a couple of can, a few can items that I know my sister will indulge in and I personally will indulge in. This is the Mother's Made Cherry Pie Filling and Topping. I've showed you guys this before, but this is such a great item to find at the Dollar Tree for only $1.25 because if you go into the grocery stores and you see how much a can of fruit filling, pie, apple, whatever. I wish they would carry more than just cherry. They used to. They used to have the apple. So I don't know what happened. But anywho, I digress. This is a net weight of 15 ounce can of the Mother's Made. This stuff is so good. You put it in a pie. You put it on top of cheesecake. You know, you can make your little um, pie pockets. You don't have to make a whole pie. There's just so many things you can make with this. My sister loves this stuff, so I got her another can to put in the pantry because I know it has a great shelf life, and it does. July 27th of 2025. So if you see this in your store and you like cherry filling or topping, yeah, grab it because you're not going to find it any less for less than $1.25. This is another one of her favorite items that she loves. I'm not really into it but when she makes like pumpkin bread or whatever I eat it you know I'm just like not a pumpkin head but this is the joyful foods 100% pure pumpkin net weight of 15 ounce can and it doesn't expire until February 19th of 2000 well it says Best Buy February 19th of 2025 and I hear a lot of people say they give this to their dogs when they're sick or something. So I don't have a dog. I wish I did, but I don't. But this is for my sister and her mess of somethings. <laughs> her mess of somethings is what we call it. She calls it that. So <laughs> I call it that. And another item that I love to have in my pantry when I need it is this Polar Innovation since 1976. This is coconut milk premium light. This is a 13.5 fluid ounce can of cocoa, co excuse me, coconut milk. <clears throat> and this is best used by 6 20th, 2025. And y'all know when this stuff is in the cans like this, it lasts way past, you know, the expiration dates as long as you don't open them, you know. So this is great for um baking and smoothies and all kinds of things. If you're, you can't drink milk like me, you know, I'm not really a big smoothie person, but I tried to be, but yeah, it wasn't my thing. Anywho, moving right along. I meant to get two of these. And again, I don't know what I'll be doing when I'm in that Dollar Tree, y'all. I come home and I go, I thought I bought two. And this was something that I really, really wanted to get at least two of because it goes so fast when it finally makes it to the shelf at our Dollar Tree, it flies off the shelf. So this is Best Buy, September 27th, 2024. And this is just the original Sloppy Joe Manwich, a 15 ounce can. And I'm hoping that I will see you again so I can grab a couple more because they have a great shelf life and everybody loves Sloppy Joes, right? Sloppy Joe, slop, sloppy Joe's. That's what we used to sing when we were kids. So yeah, September of 2024. So I definitely, definitely want to go back and get some more of those. And this is another item that I got. I thought I had two. I, I, like I said, uh, okay. This is the premium Hunt's pasta sauce. This is the meat one. They have traditional and I think they have basil. I'm not really sure. I like them all. It don't matter. I just don't like Valetti's um, spaghetti sauce. So this is a huge, huge, um, let me see, 24 ounce can of Hunt's pasta sauce. And I love this. Usually I'll get a can of meat and a can of traditional and mix them together. So again, I thought I had two. This is Best Buy July 17th, 2024. So make some good spaghetti, spaghetti bake, lasagna, ravioli, whatever you want. But this is a great buy for $1.25 in my personal opinion. Because grocery stores have just lost their 
ever loving minds. Okay. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Moving right. Up. Okay. My sweets, the few last items of this Dollar Tree haul is I found this seven ounce, um, Ferrelli's coffee creamer. This is the powdered creamer in the French vanilla. It's coffee creamer, but it's the powder. If y'all remember a little while in my talk trash video, I, um, hauled the liquid Ferrelli's that I found in New York and it was horrible. I mean, absolutely horrible. I couldn't stop it from curdling in my coffee every time I tried to use it, but this is the powder and I just like to have this just to have it on backup in case I run out of creamer. You know, you get up in the morning, you want that cup of joe and you don't have no creamer. Yeah, that could really rub me the wrong way. So this is a seven ounce container of my favorite, my favorite French vanilla and it's by Ferrelli's and it has a Best Buy August 18th of 2024. So that's a, another good pantry item. You could put it in your pantry and just keep it there because I have been known to run out of my creamer, you know, mm -hmm. no, y'all know you don't want to do that. And this is a repurchase. I just hauled this not too long ago. I got my sister, the great taste, real milk. This is the Marcel's modern pantry, whole milk, um, pantry fresh. They have completely stocked the milks, the almond milk, the oat milk, um, you know, I haven't seen the banana milk in my store yet. I found my banana milk all the way up in Rocky Mount months ago, but they restocked all the Marcel milks. I just couldn't believe those shelves. I should have taken pictures, but I was so busy being shook and grabbing, being shook and grabbing. <laughs> I forgot to actually take pictures, but I used up the last of my milk. This is the unsweetened almond original almond milk, 25 calories per serving. This is a 32 fluid ounce um, as well. And it's best by date is um, August 27, 2023. So again, once I open this, you know, August 27th, this has to go because I don't play around with dairy. Even though this is not dairy, I still don't play around with, you know, stuff like this. So I will chuck this before the expiration date or best buy date so but this is my favorite this is what i eat my cereal with this is this is my jam it doesn't tear up my stomach it doesn't mess me up so yeah so that is it on i think most of the stuff coming up next you guys is a thumbnail okay my beautiful sweets thanks for hanging in there with me i know this was a little on the long side but this is what um, made me the most happiest because I just recently saw these on other people's hauls and I know that it's a fairly new item and I found them in my large Dollar Tree. I was just so proud of them. This is the Betty Crocker um, Muffin Tops. This is the Blueberry Mix. This is the only one I've seen so far on anybody else's channel and this was the only one that I saw in my store. It says it includes sweet streusel topping Y'all know the top of the muffin is the best, right? Anybody else like me? Just eat the top and then give or throw. Yeah, the top of the muffin is the best. And I've seen these in Food Line and Walmarts and them prices wasn't no dollar twenty five. Okay, and there's some, I'm just saying. So this is eleven point nine eleven point nine ounce um box and I can't wait for her to make these. Um these don't this is Best Buy June 9th, two thousand and twenty three. So, Betty Crocker, blueberry muffin tops, y'all. Ooh, we And you get the streusel right there. You get the streusel inside. Even though I, y'all know, I know how to make it. But, yeah. So, it looks like it's not really streusel. It looks more like it's just sugar. But maybe that's just light brown sugar. I don't know. But, yeah, I did pick up two. If I go back there again and they still have them, I will probably get two more because their um, shelf life is not bad. It's June of 2023, and muffin tops are just the absolute best. But that is it for today, you guys. I hope to explore some Dollar Trees tomorrow after church if I fill up to it. I'm telling y'all, I've been dragging, and this weather is just making me want to just sleep. 
But love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I forgot to tell you, I will be pulling the random comment picker for those Easter pillowcases again on Monday or Tuesday. Probably Tuesday because I have a, a date with one of my subscribers on Monday. So, um, but yeah, June never got in contact with me. She never emailed me. So I will be pulling another name. So you guys got a second chance to win those pillowcases. And y'all know, I don't only just put pillowcases in your box or bag. I fill it with other stuff because I have a small little Dollar Tree store right here in my own home. Okay, enough of that. Love you guys. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.